pleasures. All right, is your notebook out? Yeah. All right. Last night I graded uh, the two worksheets you've turned in. This week, okay, turn it in later. Let's focus on the do now. Achilles, put your iPad away. 2, 3, 22. And the first thing we're going to do is super, super review of squares. Um, I think I did this review with you already. I'm going to need it for next week. So I'm going to do a quick little review because you're going to need it next week. So do we all remember the squares? Like 5 squared. Yeah. yeah. yeah? What's 5 squared mean? Five five. Good. 5 times 5, so that's 25. Okay. Yeah, we already did this. What's 1 squared? 1 times 1, which is 1. All right. I'm 7 squared. What's the answer? Good. Write this down, Achilles. 10 squared. 100. 12 squared. 8 squared. Good. Yes. Correct. Okay. Are we okay with this? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to need this next week. Okay? I'm gonna need this next week. All right. Part two. What I really, what I really want to teach you. This is just a review. My other periods will spend most of the period doing that. You guys, my goal for you today is given circumference, what is the diameter? That's the lesson for today. So I'm going to write that down. Given circumference, what is, well, there you go, your essential question right there. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, de nada. Sometimes I'm avidy. Not every day. But sometimes. All right. So. Okay, so if I tell you I have a circle, and this is the diameter, but I tell you that the circumference is equal to 21.98, I want to know, well, what's the diameter equal to? What would you do? Yes? We would divide it by pi. Correct. Why? Good. So reminder, circumference is equal to pi times diameter, right? What information did I give you? I did not give you diameter. I gave you the answer. I gave you circumference is equal to 21.98. So I'm plug that in. 21.98 is equal to pi times diameter. Well, do you know what diameter is right now? No. no. But do you know what pi is? Yeah, it's 3.14 times the diameter, right? So I tell you what the circumference is. So you plug it in for C because I'm actually giving you the answer. And I want you to tell me what D is. Well, you know that pi times D is this answer. You know pi is 3.14. So now what you do is you solve the equation. That's why in your homework, we still give you equations. Equations is like one of the most important things you need to learn in math. So, if it's 3.14 times D, what's the opposite? Divide by 3.14, 3.14. Because it's being multiplied, Evan, over here, the opposite would be to divide, and whatever I do to one side, I have to do the other side. This is what we learned in, like, early December. What happens here? The 3.14 get eliminated, and we're just left with D equals... Now over here, I can torture you and have you do it by hand. Oh, that would be awesome. No. Fine. You can use a calculator. What's 21.98 divided by 3.14? Seven. Huh? Type this into your calculator. Type 21.98 divided by 3.14. Seven. 
seven. Mm-hmm. And I forgot to write units. My apologies. Okay. Easy enough? Yeah. It looks hard. Totally. You're like, wait, how do I... Wait. But it's actually extremely easy to do. Yeah, let's do it. So let's say I give you a circle, and I want to know what the radius is. And I tell you that the circumference is equal to 3768. And I'm going to write centimeters because I forgot to write the units on the last one. Okay, so I give you the circle. The circumference is equal to 3768. But I want to know what the radius is. Yes? 3, 2, everything the same and then we divided by 2. Correct. Do it. Do it. So we're like working backwards, right? So when you type it into the calculator, what's 37.68 divided by four by 3.14? No. 12. But that's diameter, right? And the question is what's radius? So what do I do to this 12? Divided by 2. So what is my radius equal to? 6. Okay? So can you, can you see yourself uh, taking the map test and they might ask you, the first question might be like, what's the diameter of a circle? So they draw the circle on the, on the map test, draw the circle and they're like, okay, so what is the diameter equal to? Oh, the diameter is equal to six. Okay, cool. And then the next question, because the, the software is pretty smart, they'll be like, oh, they got this one right. Okay, hey, what's the circumference? So they'll ask you what the circumference is. And then you get that one right, because it's pi times diameter. Then the next question might be like, oh, let's see if they really know how to do this. They might give you circumference. And then solve for R or solve for D. So just, you know, that's how the map works. It gets harder. Or they might throw this one at you first. And if you get it right, then they know you know radius, diameter, everything. There's no need to further, further um, test you on it. Any questions? Okay, so I, your teacher, forgot to make copies of this. So, my bad. So we're gonna have to do it like super old school. And you're gonna do it in your notebook and then you're gonna take a picture of your notebook. So instead of handing out a piece of paper, you're just gonna copy it and do it from your, uh, from here, I know. Evan, did you just say that you don't want to write? Is that what you said? You, you do know I record my lessons every single day. And whatever you shout out is recorded. And just like I can recognize your voice, your parents can recognize your voice. So just because they don't see you speaking, your voice is being recorded. And the number one person that knows what your voice sounds like are your parents. So when you want to shout out, make sure it's appropriate and make sure you're not getting yourself in trouble. If you're shouting out answers that are correct, good job. Fantastic. But if you're literally incriminating yourself of like you're not doing the work that I'm about to present to you, think about shouting that in class. Just, you know. All right. Number one, number two. So let's say for this one, I want the radius. For this one, I want the diameter. 
because I'm still recording, kids. <sighs> Circumference is equal to. Let's see. I can't think of a number. Oh no, we won't do that. Mm -mm -mm. And of course you're using a calculator. All right, six problems, which some of you have already probably finished the first two because you're waiting for me to write it down. Six problems for you to find. Half of them I want the, I'll, I'll lower it down in a second. Half of them I want the radius and half of them I want the diameter, okay? So you're gonna write this down. You're gonna solve for radius or diameter. Um, and then you're gonna take a picture of it and upload it in a minute. I haven't created the assignment, but I will. <clears throat> Did everybody copy number one and two so I can move it up? Yes. All right, I'm gonna move, make one and two disappear, so make sure you have one and two. So you guys can clearly see five and six. Please use a calculator. There is no need to torture yourself. <laughs> 